Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my Goyo Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for November 2018. Actually, I wanted to bring you guys this deck profile. Big thanks goes out to my uh, friend Anthony for actually putting this uh, deck together for me. He's very excited uh, about the Goyo deck ever since, um, and if you guys are all fans of Duel Links, uh, Trudge was released in that game for uh, play, and with it we got a bunch of Goyo support, and he's also just been a big fan of Goyos ever since, you know, they got more support in Arc V with a bunch of different synchro monsters, and and just a big fan of Goyle Guardian and the whole playstyle of the deck um, as a whole. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off in the spirit of the Goyle Guardian deck, we start off with three uh, Jute Fighter. Now just remember, this is a true fun deck. The whole point of the uh, Goyle deck is to just synchro summon out a bunch of different um, Goyle monsters and make full potential of everything you run. Uh, Jute Fighter was one of the main tuners that Trudge used in the anime. And also, it is a Earth Tuner, which if you guys know, Goyle Guardian has an errata now, so you have to use an Earth Tuner to make uh, that monster. So three of this, just helps just to have options available and its effect is once per turn you can change one face of attack position monster your opponent controls to face up defense i'll show some other cards that just this card works very well with uh, generically for synchro summoning uh, i know it's not really that good against link monsters but still having that option to switch maybe a strong attack position monster to defense then swing over it with your big goyo definitely does come in handy overall sometimes and i also run three TG Striker. With this one, it's just an easy special summon for the deck just to get out and then have the option of using your normal summon, which then just calls for a very easy synchro summon, play it from the hand. So you can't really go wrong with triple of this. It's also an earth monster, so you cover that um, you know area as well. Just remember, Goyo Guardian is the only one that has the earth tuner uh, specific, but we're also running plenty of other synchro monsters, which we'll get to in the extra deck as well, that make full use of uh, TG uh, Striker being an Earth Tuner. Same with uh, Jude Fighter. We're also using my friend Anthony's extra deck as well for this. He was just very excited. He put the whole thing together. So, very awesome there. Also, moving on to some of the other cards. Three Junk Forward, another Earth Monster. Um, just like I said, I think maybe for the hundredth time already in this video. Um, plenty of Earth Monsters and plenty of easy ways to special summon monsters out to the field. With Junk Forward, if you control no monsters, just special summon this card and you have your level three out and then you can either Normal Summon, TG Striker, or Jute Fighter and then have your level five Synchro up and available to go, which you can go for Goyo Chaser, which is a level five Goyo Monster, or even nature of beasts just to have that lockdown option available to you very early on in the game uh, same goes with Marauding Captain, running three of this card as well. Just um, easy special summon. Your opponent cannot target face-up warrior monsters for attacks except this one, and when it's normal summon, you special summon one level four lower monster from your hand. So um, grab whatever you need for that same level five play, basically going off of the junk forward. Even if you um, uh, get junk forward out first, and then you just have more options available to you on the field as well. And I'm also running two Power Giants. I like this card. It's option-wise, just for an, a kind of like um, throw-around play where you can special summon this card from your hand by sending one level four or lower monster from your hand to the graveyard. If you do, decrease this card's level by the level of that monster. And if this card attacks or is attacked at the end of damage step, any effect damage you take becomes zero. So what I like um, is basically to mix this card with Globe Bulb, which we'll get to in a bit, just for the fact that you can send it, uh, reduce the level, then special summon the Globe Bulb and have your level six play right there to go for. Plus plenty of other monsters which will show in a bit that can benefit from just being in the graveyard as well. And also three Goblinburg. Uh, this one, when it is normal summon, you can special summon one level four lower monster from your hand. Then change this card to defense. With all the cards we're running uh, for this deck, there shouldn't ever be a situation where you know you have just one monster on the field or just no other option to special summon out a monster to the field. All these monsters run very well together. Whether you want to go for a link summon, a synchro play, you name it, you have the options available to you with this deck. And I also run two Quillbolt Hedgehog. This is going back to the uh, power... Uh, giant just for the uh, send effect having another option available to you with this card and then just having Quibbled Hedgehog in the graveyard um, for an easy special summon once you get a tuner on the field means that you just have more to work with it does get removed from the field afterwards but still making full benefit from this card especially since if you combo it with Power Giant this card or Glow Bulb are your best bets to use when you're going for that special summon for sure. 
and I also run three spell striker. We run plenty of spells, which we'll get to in a bit in the deck as well. So just running three of this for the easy special summon by banishing a spell. It doesn't even have any other requirements. You can have your whole field set up with all the other special summons and normal summons that we talked about and still have room for the spell striker on the field. Just helps for that level adjustment. If you're off one monster, if you want to go for a second play after the link summon with a synchro summon, spell striker can definitely come in handy there. And also now moving on to the one-ofs, just for a little additional tuner support um, compared to the number of tuners which we were running so far compared to the non-tuners. Um, just to help even things out, we run one glow-up bulb. Um, this card, just way too good in plenty of decks. So we run one for one. Um, we run the powered combo play, like I said, descend to the graveyard, then reach specials and back. You can set up graveyard plays as well with some of your other ones. Uh, one boost warrior, easy special summon from your hand just by having a tuner monster on the field. The, uh, I was going to say Beaver Warrior, Quibbled Hedgehog of the hand, but, um, you know, differently as well. Uh, one Tuning Wear. This is draw power and can be treated as a level 2, so easy adjustment from there as well. Uh, it's a one-for-one -one target also if Glow Bulb's already taken care of. And also one Unknown Synchron just for another easy special summon uh, to the field as well. And I also run one Jet Synchron if this card is sent to the graveyard as Synchro material. You can add one Junk Monster from your deck to your hand. You can add Junk Forward, so easy search there just to have resources to use in case your field gets wiped later on. And then you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves uh, the field. So more easy special summons, so definite need for Jet Synchron in the deck as well. And that's it for the monster lineup. Like I said, with a Goyle deck, you just want the best special summon, kind of like a Synchron deck for sure, just with this one focusing mostly on the Goyle monsters, so real big focus on the Earth monsters there as well. But for the spells, I run one Instant Fusion. This is for the Carbonala Warrior target, which is another uh, Earth monster. I know we're not completely limited for the plays there, just, you know, Goyle Guardian being your main, uh, you know, monster means that you really do want to focus on them for sure there. But Goyle Carbonala warrior with its level four mixing around with the level two tuners that we run and then the level ones just for your five and six plays definitely does come in handy and i also run one reasoning getting uh, you know the call right on this and then just having that other monster in the graveyard can be a benefit for sure plus we run plenty of different level monsters meaning you can just um you know get an easy special summon off with this card as well and I also run one Reinforcement of the Army. This card is just in here because it is very easy uh, to search out anything. Generic staple. And I also run one Soul Charge and one Monster Reborn. Easy special summon. You send plenty of stuff to the graveyard with your Synchro plays. So being able to reuse them as well. Especially going in turn one if you can get it all set up in the graveyard. Then just reuse your resources with Soul Charge. And have Link Arrow set up to get into a ton of different Synchro plays. And we are already talking about the one for one with your Glow Bulb and some of your other ones as well. And also one Foolish Burial sets up the graveyard for a bunch of those plays as well. Including Glow Up Bulb. And lastly, for the spells, I run one Living Fossil. Um, once again, going off of the Monster Reborn and the Soul Charge plays, just being able to special summon a level four or lower back to the field. Its effect is negated, but most of the time it won't even matter, depending on what you're going to summon with it. And one Miracle Synchro Fusion. Now this card is in here for the one Goyo Fusion that we play, and that is Goyo Emperor. It wouldn't be a Goyo deck if we weren't running this card as well. This deck is just way too fun, so you want to have all options available to you. So being able to use your Synchros in the graveyard with this card, then even just being able to set this card for a pop target for draw, definitely does come in handy as well for that option. And moving on to the traps, uh, small trap lineup, just two lost wins for the special summon uh, attack reduce and then just the plays you can do from the graveyard. And also two uh, reject reborns since we're running a synchro deck. It does come in handy. If you want to put back to the front, you can put that in instead just for that kind of special summon play. But I like the synchro and tuner option as well because there are some bigger synchro plays we can get to also. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra. I only have one Goyo Guardian in here, sadly. Um, but just remember, Goyo Guardian is errated for the Earth uh, limitations. So um, you have to play around that with the other tuners you run. But you have plenty of other synchros to go into as well. It's just really powerful being able to special summon your opponent's monsters. It destroys a battle and sends to the graveyard. Uh, in defense, remember that. So you can't get link monsters with it. Um, so you have to go for anything else uh, that can go into defense. But great offensive of power for sure with the 2800 attack as well glad to see it was back when i first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, the card was banned and i definitely did miss it for sure 
I also run two Goyo Chasers with this card. This card gains 300 attack for each Earth Warrior type Synchro Monster on the field other than this card. And when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field, but its attack becomes half. So it's not the defense uh, restriction, which is one thing that I like about it. It's also a level 5, so you have that play available to you as well. If you want to cut down the one, you can throw in maybe an Armades for just a more generic Synchro play. But with a Goyo deck, you have to go all Goyo out for sure. And also, I run one Goyo Predator. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field, but any battle damage it inflicts to a player is half. You can use the effect of Predator once per turn. Uh, all the half restrictions with these Goyo monsters, the Predator has higher attack uh, than Chaser, but it's more you know, offensive than Guardian uh, in because basically Goyo Guardian summons it in defense, while Predator can go for the finishing move if need be with this card as well. And I also run one Goyo uh, King. This is just another strong monster to run. You need one tuner, one non-tuner to make it. And when it declares an attack of an opponent's monster, this card gains 400 attack uh, for each Earth Warrior type synchro monster you control until the end of the damage step. It um, would have been great before Link Format, but if you can get out that those other synchros, either by just special summoning them back, it definitely does come in handy there. I don't run Goyo Defender. It was a great card at one time, but now that we're just restricted to, you know, the extra monster zone, it's just not as good anymore. You can make it, but then you have to have those open arrows to special summon more, and that's why I don't run Goyo Defender in the deck. But for the other generics, I run one High Speed Roy Chambara. Great offensive play card for sure with all the attacks. It can get off uh, one Formula Synchron for the uh, draw power as well, especially with Boost Warrior. It definitely does come in handy there. And then also I run one Naturia Beast and Barkeon with the Earth uh, Monsters and Tuners that I talk so much about in this video. You gotta run these two. Very powerful, both of them in the deck for sure. And also one Samurai Destroyer. It is an Earth uh, machine. Uh, with If it battles an opponent's monster, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Also, that monster has its effect negated during the battle phase only. And if this face-up monster and its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you target one machine monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So it's a powerful Ar Armades, so that definitely does come in handy there when you're pushing. And you just need a good level 7 Synchro to target. If you want to throw Black Rose, you can do that instead. It's just more of a generic option if you didn't want to run Samurai Destroyer. And also one Leo, Keeper of the Sacred Tree, another strong generic uh, level 10 monster you can make for sure. So um, especially with your Power Giants, if you have more resources on the field to make it, it definitely does help there. And then for the non- uh, synchro support. I run one Junk Connector. It's very easy to make this Link Monster for good arrows as well with this deck. And one Underclock Taker. Just generic. Tried to keep it as Goyo Synchro-like uh, as possible, but still having these uh, Link options available definitely does come in handy. If you didn't want to run the Junk Connector, you can even try Link Karibo, um, just for all the level 1 options we play in this deck. And also, I run one Goyo Emperor. This card is the fusion monster. You need two Earth Warrior Synchro type monsters. You can use uh, Miracle Synchro Fusion to uh, make this card for uh, that play, just by easily removing them from the graveyard as well, or field if need be. And then just have uh, the power of this fusion available to you for those options as well. And lastly, uh, one Carbonala Warrior, just for the instant fusion target as well. Um, for easy synchro plays if you have some of your level 2 tuners in your hand as well. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, big thanks to my friend Anthony for making this deck. It definitely was a lot of fun uh, playing against it as well. But uh, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.